On this week's episode of Drake Eats, we're making one of our son's favorite meals, mini meatloaf muffins. These cute little muffins are topped with barbecue sauce and cheese, sure to please your little ones. We are Jonathan and Holly Drake, and we love food. Gathering around the table and sharing a good meal. When we went gluten-free, we had to reinvent our favorite family recipe. We're here to show you gluten-free cooking can be simple and delicious. Welcome to Drake Eats. All right, guys, so in honor of our mini meatloaf muffins today, we decided to get a little help from our mini-me. Hey, Yay! it's Cannon, our this little guy. This is one of his absolute favorite meals. This child is a sucker for meatloaf. You like meatloaf, right? Yep. 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 Okay. All right, so let's get started. Cannon loves to help in the kitchen, truly. He really does. We're kind of pulling him away from his iPad right now, so he's not too happy about that, but... He'll be all right. He'll be excited. It's gonna be fun. Yay. All right, so in our bowl, we already have a pound of ground chuck. We are going to add a cup of water. Now you water. get raw beef. Now well, you get it's raw, raw. yeah, you gotta cook you it. You cannot eat this yet. Yes, a teaspoon of garlic powder. So these mini meatloaf muffins are a little bit of a barbecue and cheese flavor to them. Um, you can make them like taco. You could use taco seasoning and salsa. Um, the possibilities are endless, but we like the barbecue. It's our favorite. You like the barbecue? Yes. On there. Mm -hmm. So this right here is the secret ingredient to these mini meatloafs. This makes them plump up and cook and get that like muffin type look to them. Gluten-free stuffing mix, okay? Uh, I find this at Aldi. If you have an Aldi or a Lidl anywhere near you, I love their brand of stuffing mix. A Lidl? Lidl. Mm -hmm. Is that another? It's another like um, German a meedle, type. A meedle? Lidl. Lidl. <laughs> Comes from Germany. I think so. Je Germany. Anyways, um, I think Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, they all have a brand of this as well, but we have an Aldi five minutes from our house, so that's where I find it. You're going to get the chicken flavor. That's super important. Even though chicken it's ground flavor beef. Chicken in meatloaf. Yes, even though it's beef, you want the chicken flavored stuffing. So you're just going to add the entire box package. All right. And dump it in. Dump it in the package. All right. That is the cleanest I've ever seen I him. The, br the brownish kind of looks like croutons. They are. They're like breadcrumbs. Okay, so Cannon has a really funny story about the last time that Holly was making this meatloaf. Yes. What happened? So, she lost a nail. She lost a nail. Not like an, a real nail. No, like those like stick-on, like stick I on. used the, like the gel semi-cured stick-on nails. But she didn't realize it until when? Until it was over. Until like dinner time, right? No, in, until uh, I I noticed you put them out and I'm like, Mom, are you missing a nail? <laughs> oh, she was yeah, missing a nail. And, 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 you're just, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, so then. we made it a contest. <laughs> we went through dinner, op you know, cutting open all the meatloaves, trying to find it. Did we ever find it? <laughs> We no, never no, found it. Melted. It, it either melted or one of us ate it. So we don't know what it happened. Either melted. So I can assure you, I took Tell somebody problems. Yeah. Yes. I took my nails off for the filming of this episode, and I can assure all of our friends: if you ever come eat meatloaf at our house, I won't mix it. If I have nails on, I'll let Jonathan. Yes. I will assure you, there will be no more family meatloaf. Yeah. That, meatloaf. that that night. We, that night. Oh gosh. That night we didn't have anybody over. Uh, thankfully. Oh, she's but we never found My it. My goodness! We never found it. So we don't know. We don't know what happened. I think I ate it. You think you, you ate think it? You ate it. All right. So once it's all mixed together and combined, you're ready to put it in your muffin tin. All right, buddy. You gonna head out? Yeah. See ya. See ya. <laughs> all right. So you're gonna need a 12 tin muffin tin. This is that Green Life brand. Again, they make bakeware. You guys. We love it. Love it. You do not have to spray this at all. Just. Make your muffins, put them right in. So you're just gonna put them in, you're just gonna make them into like little balls and just plop them right into your muffin tin. And again, this is supposed to make 12, sometimes I get 12, sometimes I get 10. And because of the stuffing mix, these are going to rise when you cook them. Okay, so once you've got your meatloafs into the tin, you're gonna come back and you're just gonna push them down and you're gonna kinda use your spoon to make like a well in the middle, cause this is where you're gonna put your sauce. So 
just push them down, spread them out, and just kind of wiggle your spoon around in there to make your well for your sauce. I've got about a cup of barbecue sauce. Again, you can use as little or as much as you like. I like a good bit because I want that flavor. So you're just gonna take your sauce and just kind of spoon it into the little wells that you've made with your spoon. I don't know about you guys, but I was not a huge meatloaf person growing up. And this recipe for me really kind of helped me get on. I know it's just, it's literally the same thing as almost having like a burger, but it really it's just is. something about it being in a loaf form that just turned me off to meatloaf. But oh, I love meatloaf. But I this don't one, think you can be southern and not love. Well, love, here's the thing. I, I I love barbecue, and so having the barbecue sauce, a little bit of cheese on everything, really I think helped. Now these last three on the end here, they're a little bit smaller, and they're I'm using a little bit less barbecue sauce because Cannon is not a huge fan of barbecue, so I make him his special ones because. As we've mentioned before, he is dairy free, so I put special cheese on those as well. All right, so cheese me. I am going to cheese you. So this is just a cheddar um, and Monterey, Monterey Jack, Jack mix. We use the Tillamook brand. I know we've mentioned that before. Love their cheese. Um, it's one of the healthiest cheeses you can buy in the grocery store. Um, and so we buy the block, so it's not already shredded. And we shred it ourselves. I just like that. I don't like that, like, I don't want to say sawdust feeling when you get bagged Well, they cheese. put they put extra stuff in they it so silica. that so that it doesn't clump together. So it doesn't cake. You know that you read on the back it says anti caking. Um, that's also known as silica. If you don't know what silica is, that is the stuff when you buy a new pair of shoes or a jacket and there's those little things in the pockets, those little packets. That's silica. Don't know if I want to put that in my body. Or don't want that in your cheese. Yeah. I was informed that I did not put enough cheese on, so I'm going back for a second pass. Which uh, it's not gonna hurt my feelings because the more cheese, the better. More cheese. All right, and these last three are cannons. Um, I actually have had a few questions uh, about what dairy-free cheese we use for cannon. I like the Vio Life cheese. Um, I've tried all the ones out there. Um, obviously, my personal preference is raw dairy, but it's just not as convenient to get your hands on it. So when I don't have raw dairy on hand, raw cheese or cream. I like the Vio Life. That's my favorite store-bought brand of dairy-free cheeses and creams. Okay, so this is going to go in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. Let's do it. So here you go, mini meatloaf muffin. I can't even say it. I've tried to say it 12 times. I can't say it. <gasps> mini meatloaf, mini meatloaf, meatloaf muffins. muffins. Covered in? Barbecue, cheese. Perfect Goodness. for the whole family. This gives fun us 12. Size. Yeah, fun size. We normally, Wait, I, don't, I normally eat, those little muffins? I don't know what, two or three of these? Yeah. And Cannon usually eats three. Yeah, he loves them. Um, goes great with everything. Yeah. Sure to be a crowd pleaser. Absolutely. Even for your picky kids, they love, I have learned that. Kids love fun-shaped food, Ooh. and they love mini. Maybe so you take we a should meatloaf. try and make it into like a dinosaur or something. Well, they have those in chicken nuggets. That's true. It's been done. It's been done, you're right. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you next week.